me, I didn't see you. Quite all right. Oh, we missed you and little Cecilia in church on Sunday. The child won't go to church. Margie would have wanted her to join at church, Robert. Margie wanted a lot of things, Amy. Mm. You know one thing, Amy? Yes? Sometimes I feel like... like Margie's still here, messing with my hair. Only the wind, no more. What really happened that night? You know what happened that night. I'm worried for you, Robert. You've changed since Margie. Why didn't you go to the hospital? There was no time and I... Yes? Have you seen our other patron? Who's that? Lovecraft, that famous horror writer. <laughs> the one with the witches and, and, and priests? You like this? <laughs> Not at all. My word, is that... Mr. Lovecraft, what a lovely surprise. I suppose you want an autograph? I'm afraid I don't. I want you out of my town. Why? Your newspaper tells me otherwise. There's even a story about you, Mr. Mayor. So why don't you sit down, relax? Perhaps I can buy you a drink. There are no stories here. We, we don't need you. Now off with you. Look, my books do wonders for the towns they are set in. More tourism, better business, more money. More money, huh? Indeed. Enough to renovate that old parish and get you re-elected. Only after another drink and on you this time. Something troubling you, Mr. Lovecraft? Oh, uh, you want an autograph? Not quite, though there is something else you can do for me. I would love to hear one of your magnificent speeches at one of our assemblies. Love your books, and I think you might find this quite intriguing. Well, I don't mind helping believers of the faith. You're too kind. Our faith is strong. Well, if I find my story, you have a deal. I'm sure you'll find it before the night is out. I wish I had your optimism. Have a little faith, Mr. Lovecraft. The gods will take care of the rest. Gods? Where did you get that from? No woman. She was here just a moment ago. Throw it away, will you? What do you know about that woman? Probably one of those bloody cultists. They've been a cancer to this town for years. Just corrupting our people to their preposterous old gods. What proof there's one, let alone many? <laughs> Think of your soul. Don't ignore higher powers. Don't tell me that you believe the nonsense that you write. A man stands by his word, even when inspiration lacks. <laughs> you know what? Maybe you should use your writing to expose her evil. Tell me more about her. Close enough, oh, come on, Amy. Oh. I've got this. Mm. Let me walk you home. You can tell me all about it on the way. Haven't I told you enough? I thought you might enjoy the company, especially after your wife's passing. <laughs> Is that why you're here? She died in such mysterious conditions, and that's all the press wrote about her. But I myself wondered, what was she like before she died? Margie. Thank you. Margie was one of the nursery teachers when I met her. Happiest woman I'd ever met. Amazing with kids as well. And that's why it made sense for her to want one of her own. And God knows we tried. We tried for five years. But the doctor broke her heart when she told her that she would never be able to have a child. Margie turned to God. Not a day passed without going to Mass. 
Well, that's why it was such a miracle when she finally got pregnant. Nine months later, I woken up in the middle of the night by this scream, like, like an animal. Margarita? Margarita! I, I run down the stairs and I see my Margie. Margarita. Bells are broken. <laughs> I reckon the bells are fixed now. It's impossible. Impossible is for the weak minded. <laughs> What's that skulking in the dark? Who goes there? Ma'am, are you all right? Can I help you? Mr. Locker, be wary. This is way too familiar. What's wrong with you? She needs our help. Miss, are you okay? Ma'am, are you all right? I won't hurt you. Where did she go? That's impossible. Margie! Perdóname, Margarita. You did an angel day, my lord. I knew you hadn't left my side. want her to stay. You! You've done enough. Leave us alone. Go away. What are you doing? Offering you a deal. No, oh, you've already <laughs> taken her from me. Margarita. Do you want your wife to stay? Of course I want. What do you want? The child. Margarita, no te perderé una segunda vez. No puedo, no puedo, lo siento. You have a deal. Take my baby! <laughs> <laughs> 